Captain Zoranda stood on the bridge of the observation platform, peering out the wide viewport at the blue-green marble that was Earth. She suppressed a shudder. Once, this planet had been so promising, filled with a young, naive species, ready for uplifting into the galactic community. Now, it was a cursed world, home to the most dangerous predators the galaxy had ever seen. Are the shields holding? She asked her second-in-command. Yes, Captain. We're maintaining a low orbit over the Hawaiian Islands, well outside of their primitive detection systems. We should be able to complete our scans without notice. Zoranda nodded, satisfied. Ever since first contact 40 years ago, the humans' technology had advanced at an unprecedented rate. Their insatiable curiosity and gift for tinkering had allowed them to reverse, engineer even highly advanced systems. Now their planet was surrounded by satellites and encrypted listening posts. Slipping past them undetected was a delicate operation. But for Zoranda, it was worth the risk. She had to see the planet surface again with her own eyes, had to know what the humans were planning after two decades of isolationism. Their withdrawal from the galactic community had been neither gradual nor subtle. One day, every human ship, embassy, and trade delegation had simply vanished, recalled to their home system without warning or explanation. All attempts at contact were ignored. Something was happening here, and the Alliance was right to be worried. Captain, we're picking up a transmission from the surface. What? Zoranda hurried over to the communication station. That's not possible. Are you sure it's coming from the planet? The officer nodded. Confirmed origin is a location designated Los Angeles. The humans claim to have detected our presence. Impossible. Their stealth systems were state-of-the-art. There was no way the humans could have picked up their ship unless... Patch it through. A voice filled the bridge. Galactic Alliance vessel. This is Admiral John Smith of the United Earth Alliance. We have tracked your ship since you entered our system. Power down your engines and prepare to be boarded. Zoranda froze. They knew she was here. But how? Captain, what are your orders? Her second-in-command asked. Around him, the rest of the bridge crew looked on edge. Zoranda took a deep breath. Open a return channel. Let's see if we can defuse this situation. The officer nodded and gestured to the communication station. This is Captain Zoranda of the Galactic Alliance ship Reliant, she said clearly. To the people of Earth, I come in peace. We detected your isolation some years ago and have respected your wishes for privacy. However, given your past involvement with the galactic community, we are concerned about your planet's welfare. I was sent merely to assess that all is well. We mean you. No harm. There was a pause. When the human's voice came back, it was cold. Captain, your presence here is a violation of our sovereignty. You were warned what would happen if your kind approached our world again. Turn back now, or you will not be warned a second time. Zoranda suppressed a frustrated hiss. She had hoped for diplomacy, but it seemed humans were as stubborn as ever. Time for a different tactic. Admiral Smith, I understand your caution, but isolating yourselves is not the answer. The galaxy needs Earth's resources and population. There is a place for your people if you rejoin our community. Enough, the human snapped. You claim to want diplomacy, but your words betray your true intentions. This is your last warning, Captain. Withdraw your ship or be fired upon. Zoranda killed the channel with a slash of her hand. Turning, she addressed her crew. Raise the shields and power up the plasma cannons. It seems the humans have developed some new tricks, but we still have a few of our own. Around her, officers raced to battle stations. Force fields hummed as they came online. Outside the viewport, Earth still looked deceptively peaceful. Captain, I'm detecting energy spikes from multiple locations on the planet's surface, her science officer reported. I think they're powering up some kind of... 
brilliant beams of green energy flashed up from the Earth. They converged high in the atmosphere, joining together to strike the Reliant. The ship shuddered under the impact. Report, Zoranda barked. Shields holding at 80% came the reply. That was some kind of particle beam weapon. Zoranda's lips drew back from her teeth. So the rumors were true. The humans had made alarming strides in energy technology. She had hoped otherwise. Return fire. Aim for the weapon sites. Her gunners responded immediately, raining plasma fire down through the atmosphere. Explosions flared across the surface as the cannons found their marks. But Zoranda had little time to relish the destruction. Another round of particle beams lashed out, more powerful than before. This time, the shields fluctuated dangerously as they deflected the brunt of the assault. The ship trembled under the residual force. Evasive maneuvers, Zoranda snapped. Get us out of their range. The Reliant peeled away, engines firing at full capacity. The planet grew smaller in the viewport as they fought for altitude. Just when it seemed they were in the clear, proximity alarms blared a warning. Zoranda's blood ran cold. Captain, we have incoming. Earth missiles locked on our heat signature. Launch countermeasures. Now. A desperate spray of flares and chaff flooded space behind them. The missiles closed in. Then zig, zagged as they lost the scent. One by one, they self-destructed, leaving the Reliant untouched. Zoranda let out a shaky breath. Set course out of the system. Maximum speed. She turned to her second in command. It seems you were right to advise caution on this mission. My curiosity nearly doomed us. He gave her a solemn look. I only wish we had learned more about their capabilities, Captain. Our fleet must be warned. She nodded gravely. Indeed, the Alliance has sorely underestimated these humans. When the time comes, we will be hopelessly unprepared. Because she knew, without a doubt, that time would come. The humans would not be content to remain isolated forever. There was a fire that burned in the hearts of that species, an unquenchable fury, never at peace. One day, they would unleash it on the galaxy. And the Alliance would pay in blood for its naivete. Twenty years later, Zoranda stood once more on the bridge of an observation ship. But this time, they orbited not Earth, but the Alliance capital world Lavina. And the blue-green marble visible through the viewport was half obscured by smoke. Bring us closer, Zorand commanded. I want to see. The ship glided lower through Lavina's atmosphere, skirting past the wrecks of defense platforms. Soon, the carnage on the surface resolved into focus. Where once had stood the gleaming Alliance capital, now only ruins remained. The great governmental plaza was a sea of rubble. Its temples shattered, and ministries collapsed in on themselves. Nothing remained intact. And striding through the devastation were the humans. Zoranda watched their soldiers combing through the debris, weapons at the ready. She watched them dragging bewildered Lavina citizens from the wreckage herding them like animals to waiting transports. The banners they flew were emblazoned with a stylized blue planet, the symbol of United Earth. Her second-in-command, now a distinguished admiral in his own right, came to stand beside her. It's worse than I imagined, he said heavily. The invasion fleet is more advanced than our intel suggested. Lavina's defenses barely slowed them down. Zoranda shook her head. We should have listened. When the humans revealed themselves and demanded representation on the Alliance Council, we should have capitulated. Her old friend looked troubled. You believe their grievance was legitimate? That they merely wanted a voice in galactic affairs? No, she replied bitterly. I think it was always about power with them. But perhaps some token gesture, some meaningless council seat would have placated them for a time bought us the years we needed to prepare. Below, 
the humans had finished rounding up the Lavina citizens. Their dropships began lifting off, carrying the prisoners to internment camps or whatever fate awaited them. Now, the humans control the former Alliance capital world. Saran decided. How long until the rest of the Alliance follows? The Admiral met her gaze. There are murmurs of surrender in high command. But others still want to fight. My fleet stands ready for whatever comes next. Saranda nodded. Her friend would stand fast. He had never been one to give up when lives were on the line. She envied him his sense of hope. Maybe with the proper strategy, we can slow their advance, she said without conviction. If we make them bleed for every parsec, buy enough time for reinforcements. Her words trailed off. In the rubble below, humans were raising their banner over the shattered remains of the Alliance Council chambers. The stylized blue earth shone proudly over a sea of destruction. Zoranda turned away. She knew in that moment the Alliance's future held only darkness. Against this enemy, courage and sacrifice would not be enough. In her heart, she heard the echo of an old warning ringing out from across the decades. Turn back now, or you will not be warned a second time.